What is up, everyone? JD here. Hope you're doing well today. Got a mail call and a little bit of an update on my bug out bag to do today. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So a lot of stuff on the table. What I'm doing today is kind of going over what I was able to scrounge up for the bug out bag but we'll do all of that in just a second so let me move everything to the side and we'll actually get into the knife and then i'll show you everything that i had at the house already okay so we're going to jump into this one coming via the pass around group i'm really excited to check this one out actually uh, i took it out of the package really fast just to check it in we have the kunwu geezer but i'm not really sure I'm not sure which one it is, and it's been a little while since I signed up for this one, so let's jump in and find out together. I love their new boxes. I love the blue ones, but um, I, I like the fact that they decided to do a refresh for this year. Maybe they're going to do that every year. Um, I'm not sure. So Kunwu, Kunwu Cloth, we got some stickers. Uh, Kunwu.com, if you are looking for the information on where to find this one, I think they work with a couple of retailers, too. Their carry pouch, which is always really nice. It's it's a very well done pouch, uh, very robust. And okay, so we got a titanium, and it looks like the uh, what do they call this? The copper carbon fiber? Is it just a copper carbon fiber? Move that box to the side real quick and um, take a look at this one. Very interesting. It's a nice inlay, very smooth, kind of reminds me of the orange peel that you see on the Tau and S Tau. You got a uh, really interesting double finger fuller here, pocket clip to carry this one. It is a slip joint. Ooh, I like the walk and talk on that one. Got a nice clip point blade with a lot of belly there. Uh, this is definitely more full sized. It's ambidextrous too. I wonder, I didn't see any hardware in there in case you wanted to put it in a slip and get rid of the pocket clip. I guess you could just take the, the bolts off and you would have like a really thin gap. That's such a thin pocket clip. Uh, you got a lanyard out back. Nice full four finger grip. This is super comfortable. Now, I did notice that on their S towel this year, they went with contoured scales instead of the flat with the chamfering. I think I would like that on this. Go to a little slight contouring instead of the chamfering. Fill out a little bit more in the hand, but this is super comfortable. Nice walk and talk. It's very light. It is very light and snappy. So I call that a three and like a five and a half on the second pull. Yeah, that first pull, maybe a three and a half. Yeah, three and a half, because if I loosen my grip, it pulls it out of there um, and it's got good snap check the snap out to the uh, three-quarter yeah good snap good snap interesting walk and talk not quite like anything I've ever heard before very cool uh, that is the Kunwu geezer there will be a review coming up on that one let's go ahead and get into the stuff that I was able to scrounge together around the house for the bug out bag and then I'll, t I'll give a little bit of an update on what I have coming that I had to order my dog is super confused she's coming up here to see who I am talking to <laughs> there we go we'll move this box back over here all right so the first thing that I found these are really old um, I actually had these back from my mountain biking days when we would go out to like a big trail out on the mountains um, cell phone really didn't work out there, so we would just kind of use these. I think you got to go to... Oh, no, it does memorize the channel. Okay. Um, so usually I pick like a single-digit channel to use. Uh, I can't remember what it is for law enforcement, so I'll have to go back and re uh, remind myself of what that is. But I liked this one because it had like a little pocket clip, uh, three AA batteries, so it kept a really good charge for a long time. Um, very easy to use, very compact. I doubt that they have any serious range to them, but this would just be good, you know, for me and my family if we had to bug out. 
a way to kind of keep into communication if we wanted to go into pairs, uh, this or that, just something, you know, short range case cell phones are knocked out or something like that i thought this would be really good so um i took it out of my mountain bike pack because i really don't go to the mountains mountains anymore i more or less bike locally but very compact a good weight for it it does you take rechargeable batteries uh, i don't know if this port recharges it or if it's just for the headset oh it does say charge on it i always just take them out and charge them um, which leads me to another thing that I'm probably going to look into, and I'll go ahead and bring that out here. So I do have a small power bank that's solar powered to be able to be recharged because if we're going to be on the go, I'm probably not going to be able to have access to electricity. Um, it does let you wirelessly charge your phone. And I would say if the cell phone service was working, that is one of the reasons that I thought it would be a good idea to have this. I don't remember the size. It's been a little while since I bought it. And uh, 3.7 volt, uh, 26,800 mAh. So you get quite a few charges out of each one of these. Uh, it also does have a indicator here to let you know how much juice it's ha it has. It's full right now. Uh, again, solar powered. It does have flashlights, which was a nice perk just in case, but not really necessary. But again, the reason I'm bringing this up is because it has USB and USB-C recharge ports. And what I'm going to be doing with a lot of my gear is I'm going to try to pack stuff like this flashlight that can be recharged via a USB port. Now, I'm packing something that has a lot of battery life in it, and I'm trying to do that with a lot of my stuff. Now, my EDC flashlights like my LAN Apple and stuff like that isn't going to really work uh, for a bug out bag i need something you know that's going to be it's going to create a lot of lumens it's going to hold a charge a really long time got a good battery life to it um and has a good beam to it water resistant etc etc which is why i do like these power tack flashlights uh these are the ones that i've had from the review so this covers a lot of the electronics i'm probably going to get like a tiny um organizer for like usb usb c maybe have two or three cables in case one breaks but this would charge um, a lot of the electronics that i have and then this one here has a magnetic recharge so it is specific for that but i'm trying to limit that down but this one here would recharge this as well if i were able to find a power supply but that's it for the electronics that i can see now I am taking this, since it's already kind of organized, I thought this would be a nice little uh, pack just to have because it has the pen. It does have a pad in here in case I got to write something down. Maybe somebody gets hurt and we're trying to keep track of when we gave them medicine, etc., etc., or keep track of rations. Um, Phillips head flatheads and some T8 and T6 hardware in both of these and a little tiny driver to help make light work of things. I figure you can never go wrong with a Swiss Army knife, so this is going to be the Swiss Army knife that I carry in my pouch. Um, I might replace the thread locker because I don't plan to do a lot of disassembling of my knives. I haven't actually decided what folding knives I'm going to take, and I'm still trying to pinpoint which fixed blade I'm going to take. Uh, but this would be a nice little backup flashlight. Um, I did swap it out because it just had like double a in here and i do have a double a battery in case this dies on me but again rechargeable USB C. am trying to make sure anything that i take electronic that you know i would depend on could be recharged via the USB C. so this one's already kind of organized i got some extra band-aids in here i'll go over all the stuff that i bought for the uh bug out bag all together at one time but it's a nice size there's a pocket for it and i can also use the mollies if i needed to put this on the outside but the only way i think i would do that is if i wanted to convert over the first aid kit but the first aid kit i got is a little bit more robust i'm trying to go like medium not too big because i don't want it to take up too much room because my re's are coming i got a couple other things coming that i'll go over um but just in case i wanted to take that the next thing that i wanted to cover really quick as well i'll leave that on the table i know it's getting a little crowded over here um and i have two of these other ones downstairs i'm waiting for those batteries to recharge but the leatherman my son actually gave me this for uh i think father's day or my birthday last year uh, i don't know which leatherman it is i do apologize but i love the fact that i can 
attach this with a hook and loop to the outside of my bag so I don't have to take up any interior space and you know it'll be quite accessible and as you go you know Leatherman's cover a lot but they don't excel at any one particular thing I you know I have pliers wire cutter here I think that that'll be handy um, I do have uh, a little combo blade here this will be good for any paracord that I need to cut or anything like that I, and it does have a lock which I do like as well but I wouldn't be doing any heavy cutting with this you know I would try to do like again paracord anything light duty with that would be okay for me and then it also has what I think would be really helpful inside here you got a uh, can opener you got a file and you got a little hook in case you have some like fishing string or something like that. I think all that would be super, super helpful in any situation. And then on this side here, you got a flat and a Phillips head and again, a wire stripper if you if you needed it. But just a bunch of tools just in case. And again, it's a little bit of a heavier duty Leatherman. So I did want something a little bit bigger. And I think this would really serve the purpose well. And again, hook and loop so I can hook it to the outside of my pack. Getting down to the last couple of things. Um, I do have a butane refillable Zippo here. I'll probably also pack a Bic and then matches inside of a waterproof little case or canister. And I'm probably going to do that with a lot of this stuff. I'm probably going to do little micro pouches for certain uh, things just to cover me there. Now this one here, I like this one. Um, I don't really use it for sharpening my knives, but I like it because it's a whistle and it has something that you can sharpen your fishing hooks on if you, you know, looking at long term. And if you needed an overnight fire, it also does have a, um, a ferro rod in here that works really well. And I'm doing this backwards probably should move this out of the way, but it has a ferro rod on here that you take across the sharpener. And I'm trying not to get too much oop, too much spark going. Oh, I'm doing it upside down. I can't even remember where. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I was like, I thought I had it the right way. It's this way. Oop. There you go. So just a quick demonstration. Uh, just, you know, like I said, in a pinch to get a fire started, that would be a nice backup. Again, I like the fact that it has the whistle on it. I just blew a bunch of stuff over. <laughs> I like the fact that it has the whistle on it. And then I like the fact that you can, you know, sharpen up a fishing hook or something like that. It has a little groove in there to help you keep your fishing hook sharp because you'd probably only be able to carry one or two in an extreme situation. Again, I got the REs coming. And then something that I think people don't think a lot about when you're out and about, um, tweezers, if you're messing with wood a lot and you want to get splinters out, um, you never know when a nail clip's going to come in handy, but also if you're going to be walking for days, maybe you forgot to groom recently. I, I like the thought of having something like this. Um, and there's a little small like grooming kit with scissors and stuff, but these things honestly can be helpful with other things that you might not think of getting a knot out, something like, you know, where you need a, a small little pry. And again, the multi-tool could potentially have that, but this is so small and something that I think would easily be able to cover everything that you need. I'd rather have this than trying to depend on something like a cadet or something like that for grooming purposes or anything like that. The other thing that I like about this too is you could um, get like a little metal toothpick or something you know, aluminum, something that's not going to rust or corrode. These are, you know, stainless steels, but this is a very cheap kit. But I think this is something that's lightweight, portable, and easy to throw in there. So anyway, that's just a quick update of what I had in the house that I've thrown towards it, not including anything that I've ordered yet. And actually, there's a few more things in the house that I'm going to go through trying to decide as far as water canisters how big do I want to go? I got something that's way too big. I think it's like a half gallon canister and I think that's going to be a little too big. Um, we'll see. I have what I think in my head is going to work on the way here. So, um, and I have a 32 ounce and that might be too small. I might need something in between the two of those, but that is what is in this week is the Kunwu geezer and then a quick update or maybe not that quick, <laughs> but an update on 
what I've put together so far for the uh, bug out bag. So let me know what you uh, think about bug out bags. Uh, are you into them or you're not? This is like a get out of Dodge bug out. Um, you know, cars might still be working, not necessarily zombie apocalypse, but maybe there was an earthquake um, or maybe fire nearby. We, we live behind a national park, maybe a drought and a fire or something crazy happens. Um, just something to, you know, get ourselves to where we need to go to get far enough away from harm, knowing that we're going to carry very few things. I'm not going to cover a pew pew stuff, um, but I am going to carry th all three that I own. I have them set up for different rigs. Uh, but I'm not going to be diving into that for the bug out. Um, and that's always very precautionary thing anyway. I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Comment down below. If you enjoyed this one, just hit the like button on your way out. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you follow along. And a special thank you to the channel members out there. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.